Hi, beautiful. If there's something that I see most often on Heritage Reacts, it is people toning their hair with T-18. <coughs> Sometimes I have a hard time saying it. I'm just kidding. T-18 is perfectly fine, except it's never used correctly. No matter how many people ruin their hair with T-18, everybody still uses it and still thinks it's gonna work for every blonde situation. So we're gonna see some people trying to tone their blonde hair today. I'm ready to lose my mind watching people try to tone their hair and doing it completely wrong. Ah! Up first, we have a video by Emily Radabaugh. Emily has just bleached the shit out of her hair and she's ready for the toning step. Let's see what she does. Is it gonna be good? I doubt it. Okay, well, I'm gonna say my hair is dry enough to tone now. It's gonna make all the yellow tones in my hair go away. Her hair actually looks good. She looks like she did a decent job bleaching it. So I feel like the only thing that could really happen here is it turns like gray or purple or blue or something like that from the toner. Wait a second. I don't know what the fuck just happened, <laughs> but it looks like she used some kind of very deep blue toner. I'm guessing it was like a T18 mixed with their straight up like blue pigment that you can add into T18 to make it tone out those orange tones even more. Yeah, based on the fact that this is like blue, 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 blue when it's developing on her head, I'm gonna say she put way too much blue in the formula. We don't wanna put blue in the formula unless we're trying to cancel out orange. Or if it's just like bright piss yellow, then maybe we'll add a splash. But you really want violet in there. Violet is what cancels out yellow because they're opposite on the color wheel. This looks literally indigo as it's developing. Okay, um... Oh, no! This is probably the worst outcome that I could have imagined when toning. She was looking good and then it went back to bad real quick. I had to rinse that out like only 10 minutes later because of how much that freaking burned my scalp. Okay, another thing with toner, if you use T18, it is a permanent color. Usually when you get toners, it's demi-permanent and that is great because demi-permanent does not hurt your scalp. It's very conditioning. It is not gonna seep into all those little cracks and cuts in your scalp from the bleach and sizzle it and burn it. I don't personally use permanent color when toning my blonde hair because it hurts so bad. Oh, especially with 20 volume. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. The only downside to using dye permanent color when toning your blonde hair is that it does tend to fade away quicker. It looks like a weird greenish, bluish, grayish color. And you can see that her roots did not process as much as her ends because her roots are really, really healthy and her ends are really, really porous. So that blue pigment just stuck onto there really quick on the ends and didn't really touch the top, which sucks. Honestly, I recommend starting with the roots when you tone. We'll get into more of that later. Okay, she's trying to watch videos on how to reverse overtoned hair. You gotta do a bleach bath, but please don't touch your scalp with the bleach. Really not a good idea. But since you literally just put this color on, you left it only on for 10 minutes, it probably isn't stuck too far in the cuticle of your hair, so you can probably just get it off really quick. The more time you let it oxidize and really sit on your hair, it gets a little harder to get out of your hair. So if you want that color out, get on that right away. Do a little bleach with a little shampoo with a little bit of water. Get it going like this. Avoid your scalp as much as possible and then rinse it out. It should lift up just enough of that blue tone out of your hair so it becomes a nice bright white. So I left the lemon juice in my hair for an hour and 30 minutes. Even if I'm not completely at my desired color by tomorrow night, which would be Wednesday, I would at least be my desired color by Saturday, which is my birthday party. This is day three of the platinum process, AKA the day where I'm actually going to see people. So I'm really gonna try to make it the right color today. What the hell is lemon juice gonna do? Lemon juice is acidic, which should, I guess, lift out some of that color, but it's permanent color you put on. I don't think it's gonna do much. And if it did, we would literally have tons and tons of lemon juice in uh, the salons. Well, our last hope is to do the lemon juice thing one more time. Except we ran out of lemon juice, so now I'm gonna use lime juice. And now we're doing lime juice. Why don't we do pineapple juice too? Why not do apple juice? We'll try that too. So I'm gonna wash my hair with Dawn dish soap and baking soda. Then I'm going to use the lime juice. Dawn dish soap and baking soda sometimes does work. It does take a little bit of the color out, but not a lot. Not enough to make this work. I just shampooed all the oil and stuff out of my hair. Now I'm going to move on to baking soda. Okay, I just rubbed all the baking soda in my hair. Okay, next step is Dawn dish soap. 
I'm glad she's kind of roughing up the cuticle. That always helps release some of those color molecules. I think it's looking more yellow, which is a good thing. It actually looks like it's coming out a bit. We're on to something. I have the lime juice in my hair right now. In like 20 or 30 minutes, I'm going to wash it out and then put a hair mask in and then I'll be done. Ah! Okay, I put my hair up. No! The color's still wrong. At least she looks cute as fuck. <laughs> the gray and the yellow next to each other on the hair though, it doesn't work quite nicely. Either one or the other. I would rather just see your whole head yellow or your whole head gray. This was our last product that we're trying for actually color correcting hair. Why don't you tell me what you're using? I'm gonna guess it was a color remover, but I don't know what it was. Why are you leaving me hanging like this? My hair is like dingy blonde now. It looks a whole lot better and her hair looks very healthy and very shiny, I must say. I love that. See, that looks good, but then the top part. Your hair is still yellow. Get some 20 volume and some lightener on there and bleach it and avoid your scalp. You don't don't actually have to touch your scalp with the bleach. You can go really close, but don't touch it. Then we're going pink. We're toning it pink. We're going all over the place. But I like the idea. I think pink will look good. She's probably gonna get like a, um, a golden pinky peach color, which would be pretty. <laughs> Greetings. It's been like three weeks. I just greased my hair up and we're about to bleach it again. I no longer have a uh, scalp burn. Oh my God. Okay, see, she just needs to bleach it again. But I think she knew that, but she couldn't do it because her scalp was on fire fire because it had literal abrasions from lightening it. That is the downside, guys. Like if you don't do it right, your scalp will be wrecked. It's still yellow, but honestly, it's really, 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 really hard to get a perfectly even flawless blonde. So I'm happy with this and she rocks this color. I love it on her. However, I do like the pink better. I think you should keep the pink. Like that soft baby pink. Oh, it looks so cute. Up next, we have a video by Karna Ann. This is the color of my hair now, it's kind of like an orangish, yellowish. It is looking bronzy. We're gonna need a lot of toning power to get that shit out. <laughs> Why am I talking like a game show host? I don't know. So I've got the T11 and T18 of the Wella. This one is lightest beige blonde and this one is lightest ash blonde. And I'm going to use a volume 10. Absolutely not. That is not going to work on your hair. Your hair is a level eight. It might get a little little bit of that yellow out, but I would have at least recommended using a 20 volume because that would have at least lifted your hair a teensy little bit and also deposited extra tone to make it a little less yellow. But otherwise, yeah, this isn't gonna do Especially a beige blonde. You don't want to put any more of a beige tone in your hair. You need a lot of that purple and a little bit of that blue pigment to get this color right. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my Towel dried hair. As you can see, it's kind of starting to turn purple. It always looks very purple when it's on the hair, but then you rinse it off and it's poof. Where the fuck did it go? It's a very scary product. It's been about 25 minutes. I got about five minutes left. I'm gonna um take this out. That is so dark. I would be so scared if I had a client and their hair looked this dark with the toner on it. I would run and rinse it off. Like, no, absolutely not. I'm not fucking with that. It's actually been about 40 minutes. I was supposed to leave it on for 30, but my hair was very orange and I didn't feel like it was kind of coming out. So I'm going to go wash this out regularly. I don't know. It didn't really give me directions on if I needed to like just kind of rinse it out. So I guess I'm just going to use shampoo and wash it out regularly and hope for the best. I don't know what Wella recommends, but typically you don't have to shampoo color out. I actually don't think there's ever a time you need to shampoo color out unless you want to but it does help the longevity of the color if you do not shampoo. I feel like this is gonna take a lot of that pigment out that she really desperately needs. It's still orange. It literally like did nothing. Oh, it did nothing. It actually made it look more orange. <laughs> Wet hair is usually two shades lighter. So our hair is already level eight. We were down to like a six when it was wet. And also that sort of tint of purple made it look even darker. Cooler toned hair appears darker and less reflective. So it all makes sense why it looked really, really dark. And now it looks absolutely the same. The ends actually did something, but those were colored before cause I had like an ombre thing going on. So the ends are actually kind 
of like a grayish tint. Uh, it's still a little wet and dark in some spots, but what the f did it do? I'm confused. Her hairstylist recommended something that's more blue based instead of purple because blue is for orange and purple is for yellow. That is good. Let's see what it is. This is Wella Cream Developer and it is 20. A blue based owner because purple based is for yellow hair and blue based is for more orangey hair. Okay, she's using 12A and 20 volume. Again, the 20 volume is probably gonna help a little bit to lift her hair, but the 12A, you're not a level 12. Ash has a lot of blue in it. It might tone your hair a tad, probably on the ends where your hair is the driest and the most damaged. But other than that, you can't be using a level 12. You're a level eight. Stay in your damn lane. As you can kind of tell there, it's starting to turn like a grayish blue. So it says recommended for 30 minutes. I'm gonna check it. It's kind of looking orangish on the camera, but it definitely has lightened up like in real life. It has gotten quite a bit less orangey. It's already looking exactly the same as the last time. Nothing's gonna happen. All right, I'm kind of scared because it's looking a little bit more yellowy or orangey or whatever. No. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen, but I feel really bad for her now. She keeps spending money on the wrong things and taking time to do things that are just wrong. This is like right out of the shower. They're not the shower, but you know, I'll it out. That took pretty well. I'm just gonna blow dry it and see. I didn't quite get the orange out. It's still a little white over here, so it's kind of dark, but it uh, definitely looks more natural, I'd say. That's because of the 20 volume. It definitely lifted your hair a tad bit. Still looks kind of the same though. My roots, actually where it's darker at, I uh, didn't bleach those at all, but I guess with the developer, it lightened them quite a bit. It's still kind of dark in some spots. I'd like it to be a little bit better. The bottoms turned out awesome. Those porous damaged ends are the first ones to take that color and your hair definitely did. Those ends look good. Good, that is a nice color. Let's lighten your entire head over again. Maybe avoid those ends, put a little conditioner on them before you start lightening everything. That way you can protect them a bit and remember not to touch them with the lightener. And then use something like a level nine toner, one that makes sense. I don't think it looks too bad. Here it is. I'm back to you and just blow dried it. I mean, it definitely didn't work. But again, if you want that really bright white blonde, you're gonna need to lighten it again. Toner does not lighten your hair. You have to use bleach for that, unfortunately. Up next, we have a video by Gagach Girl. These names just get harder and harder. Today, I'll be showing you how to tone your hair with Deep Purple Mask from Broyo. We're off to a bad start. I just pressed play. So her hair is neon yellow, borderline orange. A purple hair mask is not gonna kick all this yellow out of her hair. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, to be honest with you. I hope she at least applies it on dry hair. That'll help. It should look like this. It shouldn't be transparent. It should look thick. Okay, I take it back. Maybe this could do something. It is pretty dark. I feel like her roots are too healthy to take the color. And then I feel like her ends are too orange to take the color. So maybe she might have nothing happen. We're always starting on the top of the head, aren't we guys? Start at the bottom, lay the hair on top. It's so much easier that way. I'm glad she's coloring her dry hair. When you apply semi-permanent color on wet hair, it dilutes the formula and also makes the hair really slippery and does not allow like a conditioning product to latch onto the hair and stay there when you rinse it off. So definitely wanna apply this on dry hair if you want maximum toning benefits. I would have definitely recommended applying it a bit differently. Definitely use a comb for this. If you're putting conditioner in your hair, it's gonna be really easy to comb through. So applying it in just like three large sections is totally fine. Get it on your hands, a big clump of it, put it on the bottom, get the comb in there, comb it on the top, comb it on the bottom, comb it on the sides. Move on to the next section, do it over and over, and it should take like five minutes max to apply to your entire head. And it'll be very, very even. So I'm a little bit disappointed. So. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Not surprised, but it did nothing. <laughs> it made her roots a little bit wider, I will say. But other than that, it looks pretty much the same. What she should really do to even everything out is first lighten it again, especially those ends. The roots and ends need more lightening. 20 volume and bleach will be fine. Get it all on there, okay? You can even do a bleach bath if you really wanna make it super easy for yourself. It might not be the best results, but you can do a bleach bath, 20 volume, bleach, water, shampoo. Put it on those ends and let it sit for like 35, 40, 45 minutes, maybe even longer. Not sure how resistant your hair is, but let that get nice and bright. And then we're gonna go in with a toner. I can't really prescribe toners through a YouTube video, unfortunately, but something with a violet base at a level nine would look great on you. And starting with your root, letting it sit on there for an extra five minutes and then running it through your ends, it'll make everything really even and beautiful. But the end part, like, it's kind of gray and white. And the top part is very white. I love it. So, I guess I have to do it again. Oh, come on, you guys. We're doing it again? It didn't do anything the first time. What's it gonna do the second? So I did purple shampoo again. This time, I leave it on for an hour. And I think I overturned my hair. Because as you can see, this is purple streak on my hair. But you know what? I'm gonna embrace it. And my hair is a lot lighter, but like, the inside is still yellow. I don't know if I'd go as far as say that it looks natural. I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised because what happens with purple shampoo and conditioner, it builds. The more you use it, the more it tones. It does a little bit at a time, but I'm surprised her hair turned out with this grayish after applying it to damp hair. I don't know why that happened. Definitely a lot of different colors. I would recommend what I recommended earlier to do. Bleach it again. I guess it's better in some way. Great, all right, well, that was interesting. <laughs> well. If you learned anything today, it's to choose the correct color for the level that your hair is currently at when toning. T18 is not a one size fits all. We knew this though, come on, we knew this. But again, this is why there's professionals out there. It's much harder than it looks, much, much harder. And plus, everybody always buys their toner before they actually lighten their hair, which is the opposite of how we do it in the salon. We first lighten your hair and then use a toner to go with the results to get you to the end result you want. You understand? Like we need to know what happens with the lightener to formulate the toner. Can't do it the other way around. Anyways, if you'd like to check out my hair care or my hair color line, so you can have gorgeous, fabulous, healthy looking hair from the inside and out, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. If you wanna get some hair inspiration or check me out on Instagram, here you go. Here's my Instagram handle as well as xmodo hair and xmodo color, check it out. If you wanna check out more videos, you can do so right here and right here. Let's hang out more, let's do this. It'd be fun for us. Let's do it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.